You know, Hank, it goes back to what Mike just asked about uh, the mindset of winning in November. And, you know, but there is, uh, and I had talked to you guys before about this, this turnover issue, you know, and not giving the ball up. And, and one of the, the points of uh, emphasis was, hey, listen, quarterbacks, if the ball's not there, it's okay to throw the ball away or to pull the ball down and run with it. And you lo I think Michael Rocco had 20-something yards and did a great job of making a guy – I don't know if he made a miss, but the guy hit him and he spun off of it and um, got a first down on a QB sneak. Same thing with Phillip on the – on the on the scramble for the touchdown, just just be smart with the ball, and and you saw that um, that if you can take care of the ball and limit, you know, limit those things that particularly that are thrown in the air, you got a shot. And then defensively, and we practice those those drills, those ball disruption drills all the time. And then in the week in practice, you know, I'd stop practice and we'd go celebrate. Practice celebrating when we have a turnover, and and I knew that. You know, I, I always envisioned that, you know, the turnovers would come, and when they'd come, they'd come in bunches. And that's, you know, that's what happens sometimes, you know, when you just can't, you're not catching the interception or the ball bounces, a crazy bounce. You know, look at the interception that that Eli got that was actually hit by Jake Snyder, and, and then Verquan Romero batted the ball, and, and Eli had come around all the way around on a pass rush and was right there at the spot. I mean, there's so many times things like that happen that you're not there or you're just a step late. So it becomes contagious, and, and we've got to continue that on, you know, the re this next game. You know, I think we had like 14 or 15 possessions, and we normally have, you know, 12. And when you have opportunities like that that are created by aggressive play defensively, then, then it, it, gives you, it gives you that kind of that – that energy. You look at our sidelines. You look at them guys. You know, when those those turnovers occurred, you look at the players. You look at the sidelines, and that that can that can get a whole team rejuvenated. Um, and so I think that's probably you work hard at it. You stay. You know, you stay the plan of how you practice and and make the emphasis. You know, on those things that are important. And I just think the guys really did a good job of of being in the right place at the right time, being fearless, go after the ball. And we're going to have to continue to do that, particularly, again, with this team, because they'll throw it deep. They have, as I said, their running backs five and Duke Johnson. They, they, they will run the ball. They'll get up in 22 personnel, two tight ends, two backs, and they will try to run the ball you know, right at you. And then they'll spread it out, and then they'll just max protect. And they'll – not not max protect, but they'll spread it out. And they'll say, all right, this guy's fast. Let's see how fast you are. And they'll throw the ball vertically deep. And make you go up and play, you know, you know, play in the air and go get it. So we got to be able to come down with, you know, with uh, with interceptions, with sacks. If if Morris is going to drop back like that, and just you know, create again turnovers to, to keep us in the game. Well, you know, when you you, you haven't won, you know, several games there. I mean, obviously, it was my job to make sure that we find ways to win games that we to keep the keep the atmosphere, keep the spirit of the team up and encourage the players and, 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 and talk about, you know, what can happen. And when you win a game like that on the road, their homecoming, you know, our fans tucked up in the, the high corner on one state, side of the stadium and our band tucked up in the high corner on the other side of the stadium. Um, you know, it's just, just out there, it's just you, you know. And, and when you, when you have an opportunity to be successful like that, particularly with, again, with young players, you, 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 you catch, you, you catch them again about, about what, you know, things that can happen. Again, we control our own destiny here, but the most important thing is, is this game right here against Miami. And, and, and they're excited about playing this game. As I said, um, 2010, you know, last year down there, I know that Coach Golden's going to have, they'll be reminded of, of that. Um, that, you know, the game down there at their place, how that game went. And, but we'll, we're reminded of it too, is that, uh, you know, it goes back to winning in November and having a chance to keep some of these, uh, these goals alive. So it was a good practice Sunday, you know, a lot of energy in the weight room. There were a lot, a lot of energy. And, you know, winning helps, it helps do a lot of things. And when you haven't won, 
for several games, you get that feeling back about how it feels when you when you when you win, and what it feels like. And and I think that uh, you know we we crave we want to we we crave wanting to win games. We have to, you know. And when you get a taste of it again, that's something that um, again, that's something we're looking forward to. When you look at their tape, Jerry, and I, I alluded to it before that, uh, with Coach D'Onofrio as their defensive coordinator, when you see them play, you, you, see, you see them game planning different teams doing different things. I mean, they, it could be zone blitz one, one game, one team. It could be man uh, pressure with another team, um, doing things with their linebackers, the rotation of their coverages. And so you, you kind of look at when, they, when they're playing a particular game, there's always something that – that they're doing different that you might not have seen the game or two games before. Um, but what they do well is because of the speed that they have is they play man coverage pretty well. Now, whether that means man coverage with blitzes or man coverage with an extra safety down in the box. So if you're, if you're tight end blocks, then he's another run defender. So I'm quite sure that we'll see something that we perhaps haven't seen in the last couple games, but it'll be It'll be something that'll probably be game plan based on what they see, you know, or what they think that we may give them. You know, when we played, uh, when we played them here a couple years ago, and you know, Jacory was 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 knocked out of the game, and he came in as a you know as as a backup quarterback, just trying to figure out a way to to move the team and help the team win. And I'm quite sure he didn't have a bunch of reps in practice and was ready for that the role that he was thrust into. What you see now is a more mature, a more confident quarterback that has the weapons that are surrounding him. You know, like I said, they will, he, will, he will take it deep. And, um, and you see, you know, much more confidence in him and, and, and his ability to, you know, to execute their offense. So like any quarterback, you know, the more opportunities as the years go by, the older they get, you know, the, the better they become. And I think that he's – you know, he's probably – he's kind of fit into that role of being the guy for them now. I don't think – I don't think there's any issues with any quarterback issues with them, with their team. But um, you've seen the maturation process of him over the last couple of years for sure. Obviously, they, they have a, a few very – you know, a few dynamic players. Um, you know, their team is very athletic. The freshman, uh, Duke Johnson, is uh, everything that – you know, that uh, he's been made out to be and built to be. He's very explosive. He gets his hands on the football in various ways in a kicking game and offensively they're very creative with him. They are, uh, you know, they're big. They'll probably be the biggest team that will will play. You look at their tackles. They're like 6'7", 6'8". The guards are 6'6". Inside, you have a veteran, you know, quarterback that's, that's you know, has been, uh, has played in the game before, played in college games. And, uh, you know, they do a lot of things defensively. They, you know, Mark D'Onofrio was here on the staff when I was here as a defensive coordinator. You could tell that they do a lot of game planning based on their, the opponents that they play. Um, you know, they're, they play a lot of young players as we do. And, um, you know, they, they're, as I said, they're probably as one of, you know, one of the more athletic teams and, and probably team speed is probably another thing that, that jumps out at you when you watch tape on them.